Hi, in this video I'm going to explain equipment cost estimation that includes all the costs that will be associated with our equipment and how to change that cost to rate per unit of measurement. Starting right now. All right, so we have an example here of excavator and let's assume that the price of this excavator or the purchase price, we have purchase price of a new excavator and a purchase price of five years old excavator. So I can assume that the purchase price for a new excavator is 550,000 and the purchase price for five years old excavator is 100,000. So I can assume that I can buy a new or purchase a new excavator and after five years sell it at this price. So what I can get from this information that I can assume that the cost per year of this equipment or of using this equipment can be equal to the loss of money that I will encounter in these five years divided by the number of years, which is five years. So let's say 550,000 minus 100,000, that's 450,000. I'm going to lose due to using this equipment. When I divide this by five years, that means that I am losing or this equipment is costing me 90,000 dirhams, for example, this is the currency I'm using here per year. So this is the first criteria that I need to have in mind that this equipment will cost me as an equipment without any other associated costs, 90,000 per year. When it comes to the operator cost per year, because this equipment, it needs an operator. So it needs someone to drive it. So I will assume that the cost per year for the operator is as following. Let's assume that the operator will cost us per month 4,000 dirhams, multiply it by 12 months. So the operator of this equipment will cost me per year 48,000. And I'll keep a link in the description down below and in the top right corner as well for a video shows exactly everything we need to know about the cost estimation for labors so that you can know how do we get this 4000 based on the category of the labor and everything. Point number three here is the fuel cost per year. And let's assume that this equipment or this excavator will consume 300 dirhams per day of fuel. Of course, I'll see the technical data sheet of this equipment and we will see the consumption, how many liters of diesel, for example, per day and how much is one liter. So when we multiply both, we can get that this will consume about 300 dirhams per day multiplied by 30 days. That's the cost of fuel per month multiplied by the number of months per year, which is 12. So I'll find here that the cost of fuel of this excavator is 108,000 per year and this is the third criteria that I am looking for. Going to the service and other miscellaneous costs per year. So let's say uh, spare parts, oil change and all these things. I'm going to assume 2000 dirhams per month into 12 months. So that's 24,000 per year. So this is also another cost that I'll encounter of having this equipment. It's working in a construction site. Something can get damaged. Some consumable parts should be changed regularly and all this stuff. So I have to account for that as well when I'm calculating this investment. All right, the last point here, let's talk about overhead costs that will be there due to having this equipment. And I'm just going to add 10% of all previous costs. And that is 27,000 dirhams per year. So what about these miscellaneous costs? For example, something I forgot to say is, for example, the insurance that we need for this equipment and also the overheads of the company that owns this excavator itself because this excavator should bear some of the costs or some of the overhead costs of the company because there will be some plant manager assigned to look over the company assets or equipments. So this cost should be there and should be accounted for. So going to the total cost per year, as we mentioned here, we have the equipment, which is 90,000 per year, and we explained why 90. And we have the operator cost, which is 48,000 per year. And we have the fuel cost, which is 108,000 per year. And we have the service and miscellaneous, which is 24,000 per year. And we have the overheads, which is 10% of all of this, which is 27,000 per year. And we mentioned that this can include insurance and license, registration, all this stuff. So this machine or this excavator will cost me per year 297,000. And when you divide this by 12, you get the total cost per month, which is 24,750 dirhams per month, of course. 
So these are the two costs in amounts. This is the money or this is the cost due to acquiring or having this equipment. And this is the first part of the formula. Now I know how much the excavator will cost me per year. It will cost me this much, almost 300,000. But again, per year, how much this excavator can produce? Or in other words, what is the productivity of this excavator? So when we go to the machine productivity here, I can assume the productivity as following. So per month, we have 500 cubic meters per day multiplied by 30 days, which is a month. So per month, I have about 15,000 cubic meters. And when I multiply the 15,000 cubic meters by 12 months, then that's 180,000 cubic meters of excavation per year. So this is the productivity of this machine. And if you want to estimate the cost of any machine in a project, you have to know two things. How much is the total cost per unit of time in this example year? And what is the productivity of this machine again in unit of measurement, which is cubic meter? So what we can see here is that the total cost per year for this excavator is almost 300,000 and it can produce per year 180,000 cubic meters of excavation. So the final part is what is the rate of excavation? If I divide the total cost per year, which is 297,000 divided by the productivity, which is 180,000, then I get that the excavation rate is 1.65 dirhams per cubic meter. And this is the excavation rate only. We might need also some shovel to do the loading and we need some trucks to do the disposal. But here I'm talking only about the excavation and the excavator. I didn't allow for any loading or shifting or something like that disposal, nothing. It is only excavation and this number, if you are living here in Dubai, if you know, this number is very familiar for me at least because I am awarding at 2 dirhams 2.5, which is the margin that the owner of this excavation should make. Now, if I am a main contractor, my calculations will be a little bit different because these, what you are seeing here, is the calculations of the excavation subcontractor. And why is that? Because his excavator is working every day because this is his only job. He is only doing excavation and disposal. So he is making sure that this excavator productivity is 500 cubic meters per day and he's also making sure that this excavator doesn't get idle because he's only doing excavation today he will do in my project tomorrow he will do in your project day after tomorrow he will do in someone else's project so that his excavator is working all the time but when you are a main contractor you are not doing excavation every day you will you will acquire this excavator and you will use it for one month or two months to excavate one project and it might get idle or sit idle in your store for another five or six months when you get a new job and start using it again. So that's why you need to think very properly before acquiring an equipment. Are we going to have works, constant works for this equipment over time or not? But for people who are only doing excavation, for example, in this case, it's for them, it's very fine because they will try their best to keep their excavator busy all the time. The same thing or the same concept will be applied if we are doing calculations for a pickup three ton, for example. So again, you will see how much the pickup is costing you per year and how many trips, let's say it can do per year. And based on these two, you can get the rate of trip, how many dirhams per one trip, as we did here, how many dirhams per cubic meter. You can see how many dirhams per square meter, how many dirhams per trips, how many dirhams by whatever unit of measurement that you can have. And this is how we estimate the costs of equipment in construction. Another point, which is time value of money, which is related to the economic analysis, because when I said here that the purchase price, which is 550,000 today, after five years, I will sell it for 100,000. But the time value of money concept says that after five years, the value of the 100,000 is more than today. Like 100,000 today is less than 100,000 after five years. So this thing will play a role, especially if you are living in a country where the inflation is very big, like 10% or 15% or something like that. So you have to pay very close attention to the time value of money, which we will be explaining in future videos this will make an effect. But here where I am staying, the inflation is not that much. It's like maybe 
0.25 or 0.5% yearly, so it will not affect these calculations much. You can refer to this video to learn about labor productivities and to this video to learn about labor cost estimation. And thank you so much for watching. I enjoyed being with you. If you enjoyed being with me, please like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.